So I think it's a case of, um, of good news and bad news. The, the good news in advanced economies, so the US, in the US, private demand is strong. Uh, so unless there are fiscal accidents, uh, then uh, the recovery should continue. Japan is still doing well. Uh, and Europe, the good news is uh, Europe seems to have started growth again. Uh, in emerging market economies, that's where the, the bad news is. And, uh, in many countries, growth has been lower than we expected and has declined quite a bit over the last two years. It's only going to happen if the U.S. recovery becomes stronger and then the Fed feels that it has to increase interest rates. So, so from the point of view of the rest of the world, say emerging markets, there are two effects, right? U.S. growth stronger, that's good, uh, but high interest rates, which are likely to lead to some capital outflows, less good. Some countries, the net effect, for most countries, the net effect will be positive, for some, maybe not. So I think that's what we're looking at, looking forward for the next few years, right? In the core, uh, I think growth has started, but two things have to happen. One for the short one, which is clarification of the bank's balance sheet. Now that's in process, but it really has to happen. The other is for the medium run, structural reforms, so that growth is higher. For the periphery, a bit less optimistic. I'm not sure the corner has been turned, but it may be. Uh, there are some good news. Uh, on the export front, many of these countries are really increasing exports quite a bit. That's good news. But internal demand is still weak. And so it's a fight between the two. And at this stage, very low growth is still uh, the forecast.